everybody, welcome back around to the Blog and Grill. I'm your host, Doug, here with your video blog for January 17th, 2014. I'm going to pick the NFC and AFC title games for the weekend. I'll give you my college hoops preview for the weekend as well. But first off, I want to talk about the Masahiro Tanaka sweepstakes. Really, the three teams that we see in it right now, the Yankees, the Dodgers, and the Mariners. Um, one factor that's come out in the past couple days is the fact that his wife is a pop icon. So that's making people lean more towards L.A. because she would be able to really flourish her career in L.A. And what's going to happen with that could play a key factor. Another question is who can afford him and really any of these teams can afford him. The big misnomer around Major League Baseball is that teams are still on budgets. Teams are somewhat on budgets, but any team can really afford any player. All these teams have local TV contracts high ad revenue and they can really turn a profit quickly and get a lot of money for these guys so and when if you think the Mariners don't have as much money the Mariners have just as much money as anybody else in Major League Baseball the kind of deal he's looking for right now I'm I'm hearing he's looking somewhere in the six to seven year range between 130 and 140 million dollars so he's looking to get paid about 20 million a year I think he's worth it he's 25 years old he has great stuff great numbers and I think it will take a little bit of an adjustment to get used to um, Major League Baseball. But I think he will adjust and be a very good, not a great, but a very good starting pitcher in Major League Baseball. Final thing it comes down to is where will he go? I think the key is you got to look at it. There's three different questions when you look at this. First off, we can look at which team needs him. And I think the team that needs him are the Seattle Mariners. The Seattle Mariners have made big moves. They went out and got Cano. I think if they get us started, go, be fine, go behind Hernandez, that'd be good for Tanaka. He wouldn't have to be a number one. I think he'd fit well in Seattle with a high Asian population and a good demographic for him. The team that I think wants, the team that I want to get him is the New York Yankees. I think the Yankees need him. He can give them stability at the front end of the rotation, help them to get younger overall as a team, and ultimately I think he can bring some of that good culture back to the Yankees as we've seen with Hideki Matsui and Hiroki Kuroda. But ultimately, the team that I think will get him are the LA Dodgers. I think the Dodgers will go out, spend the money. He's going to get paid less possibly by the Dodgers because he'll likely be a back end of the rotation kind of guy. We're looking at him as a four or a five behind, or a three or four behind Granky, Kershaw, and Ryu. We'll see what happens, but I think he's probably going to go to the Dodgers. And that decision is made next week, so we'll keep you up to date on all things Tanaka as we go down to the wire of this deal. All right, time to take a look at the title games. Time for my picks. First game, we got the Patriots and the Broncos. Broncos are a five-and-a-half point favorite. I'm going to give the points. I don't want the points. I'm going to give the points, but I'm taking the Broncos in a win, 31-27. to and my NFC title game, 49ers, Seahawks. Seahawks are a three-and-a-half point favorite. I'm going to take the Seahawks to win the game by a field goal, 20-17. to 17. All right, so that's my picks. I said all throughout, if the Super Bowl went through Seattle, they would win. Okay, if the, if the conference title game went through Seattle, Seattle will advance. That's the toughest place to play, for sure. All right, now time for my college hoops preview. I got 22 Number 22, Pitt taking on number 2, Syracuse. Tomorrow at 4 on ESPN, I'm taking Syracuse by 8. Upset alert, I'm putting Louisville on upset alert, as I think they will lose to UConn tomorrow night on ESPN. Check that out. That is at UConn, and UConn coming off a big win last night against Memphis. And my player to watch for the weekend has to be DeAndre Kane. If you have not seen this guy play, he is a physical specimen. He plays for Iowa State, the Cyclones. They take on Texas tomorrow at 4. Kane averaging 16, oh, averaging 17 points per game, 7 rebounds. This guy's a point guard. Point guard or 2 guard and 6 assists. The guy is a freak of an athlete, a good player, coming off an injury. I think he'll have a big game against Texas, and we'll see what he can do. Knicks lost last night. They're back at it tonight against the Clip Show at home. Should be an exciting game. For sure, we'll see how they do coming off the back-to-back. -back. They did kind of get blown out last night. Rough game for them. They lose by 28. We'll see what they can do tonight. We'll go around the shield on Monday. We'll break down, and I'll give you my initial Super Bowl pick 
as we'll go down through two weeks of Super Bowl stuff, um, doing a lot of previews and a lot of what people are saying. We'll also go around the NBA and our new top 25 poll will be released on Monday afternoon. We'll be later on Monday. Got the day off from work, so we'll be a little later. Monday night, tune in for the blog and grill. Remember to follow me on Twitter, YankeeBaller415. Comment, question, subscribe to my page. Thanks for tuning into the blog and grill. Have a great week and enjoy the great football, and we'll see you back here on Monday.